morning. Good morning. Good morning, Sean. You looking at me like you don't pick up, please. Why do you read that nonsense? Because it's informative. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely marvelous. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you beautiful souls out there. And I want to thank the channel members and also the subscribers of the channel for sending me this video. And also, if there's any videos that you may have sent that I haven't got to already, trust me. Me and my team are working around the clock diligently trying to get these videos out to you all so please don't be discouraged keep sending these videos in but this story right here you know it's one of the most craziest stories i think i have ever done but it's definitely one of the top 10 stories of the year now this story right here takes place in canada yes in ontario a section of ontario called oakville at a school called oakville trafalgar high school we have a teacher who goes by the name of kayla lemieux and kayla lemieux decided to turn transgender this year. And the video is not about a teacher being a transgender. So I want to make that clear right there. Let me say this again. I don't have a problem with any teacher being a transgender. That is your preference. The problem with the whole story, if you all have seen the real picture already, because I couldn't show those big nipples, but if you go follow the link and you go to the real picture, for those who haven't seen the picture of this person, Kayla Lemieux, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about because it's very sad what took place and no i could not show the whole thing so my thing is this how did this school even allow this and also the school is trying to defend this ratchet yes ratchet behavior ratchet just don't come out of florida they come out of canada too evidently because i thought canada was better than that i even wore the damn blue jays hat today thinking that we're going to get somewhere but hopefully by the end of this video we're going to get somewhere so let me say this once again people wondering how the video got leaked out they wonder how the pictures got leaked out no didn't know a uh, YouTuber go up there and videotape this uh person, Kayla Lemieux. The students in the classroom videotape this teacher. And you also got to understand, if the students take the picture and the videos of the teacher, don't you think the students know that something is wrong and they're trying to get your attention or whatnot? So if the students think this is wrong, shouldn't the school also? But no, the school is defending this wretched behavior. And shame on you all. But anyway, I'm not going to tear it too long with the story. I know you all got a lot to do today. I got a lot to do today. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story, and I am going to get my opinion, all of it. <clears throat> Surely, as we go, Canadian high school defends transgender teacher who wore enormous, yes, enormous, gigantic prosthetic breasts underneath tight t-shirt to class. And where's the damn bra at? That's what I want to know right there. So let's get this straight right here. If you all are defending this, so don't the school have a dress code like most schools do? I mean, don't the students have to dress a certain way? Because I'm sure that y'all don't have uh, students in there walking around with their panties on, or like Adina Howard once say, a t-shirt and a panties on. And I'm sure you don't have the guys walking around with their drawers on or whatnot. So if the students have to dress a certain way, the faculty member, well, some of them evidently, Shouldn't you also think that Kayla Lemieux should cover those big titties up? That's just all I'm trying to say right there. Anyway, Kayla Lemieux, a teacher in Ontario, Canada, began her transition just a year ago. Last year, this is from what I heard, from what people have sent me, that Kayla Lemieux was named, yes, get ready, Stephen Hanna. And you also, if you go look, even though they kind of like shut the site down, but we still screenshot it. We screenshot everything over here anyway for those who uh was able to get that uh piece of paper if not you can go find it on twitter somewhere you can find it it shows that the person teaching manufacturing technology basically what we call wood shop down here in the united states was Stephen Hanna, better known as Kayla lemieux right now anyway now the school has defended her and said they want the site to be safe for all so if the site's safe for all who is the site really for is it for the students or is it for the teachers? That's what I want to know right there. So let's say that again, because people might be confused when I say site. Site means school. So if you want to site the school, say for everybody, shouldn't the students come first or whatnot? It sounds like to me that you all put this teacher needs above everybody. 
Anyway, a Canadian high school teacher has sparked controversy after pictures emerge of her wearing large breast prosthetics while teaching students. And lucky you didn't get one of them damn titties cut off. Because I was just hoping and praying, just grabbing my chain like, Lord, don't let it happen, Lord. Please don't let it happen. And you got to wonder this right here. Just think if you was one of those students in that classroom. So let's go back to when we went to school. Just think if one of our teachers walked in there like that. You know what I'm saying? Just think if you're a uh, female student walked in there like that, looking like Mr. Johnson one day, but the day before she was Miss Wanda. Now, once again, I'm not saying that you can't be a transgender. Let's make that clear because people will try to change your words. What I'm trying to say is this, is that if you was dressing a certain way one day and you come back dressing a certain way the next day, Shouldn't you still cover it up? That's just all I'm trying to say right there. That's just like if it was a woman trying to be a damn man and she's coming to school and she got a, a prosthetic uh, penis print in her pants or whatnot. You know, some of these studs be walking around with them fake penises or whatnot. So shouldn't she have to cover it up? And also in the same aspect, shouldn't Kayla Lemieux have to cover them big nipples up? That's just all I'm trying to say right there. Now, Kayla Lemieux, a manufacturing technology teacher at Oville Trafalgar High School, has been pictured online teaching classes while wearing her huge prosthetic breasts while stretching her clothing and sticking out prominently. Like, how did you even put that damn shirt on? And how's the teachers and how's the principal letting this ride? That's what I want to know right there. And you might be saying, well, they're trying to protect transgender rights. We understand that. But also, let's not forget something in case y'all forgot. We have rights, too. Don't y'all understand that? Let's say it again together. We have rights. Like on another professor when he said, Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I do. Yes, I can. Whichever one he said. But what I'm trying to say this right here is that we have rights also. So it's not like everybody else's rights getting protected but ours. But it's a different story when you start attacking the children. Because once again, I'm trying to drive this home to you all, is that the reason why the pictures in the video was leaked out was because the students leaked the pictures and videos out. And also ask yourself this, if the students and also people in that classroom leaked the pictures and videos out, does that not tell you that they think something is wrong with this and they're trying to get our attention? That was the reason for the whole thing because if they didn't think that way, guess what? Everything would be A-OK. -okay. So if the kids know something wrong, shouldn't the adults do also? Let's close up before I get in trouble. Anyway, now the news story said Miss Lemieux, who began transitioning from being male to a female a year ago, has gone viral online after students took photos and videos of the teacher seemingly without her knowledge. So they want us to sit up here and say that the teacher did not know that the pictures and videos were being leaked out. But also, let's combat that with this. The students didn't know that they was getting this type of mess this year. You know what I'm saying? They seen you last year as Steven. You come back this year as Kayla. That's fine. That's fine. But you got to cover those nipples up. That's all I'm saying. You can be who you want to be in this world because, I mean, everything is okay these days, I guess. But one thing I'm trying to say is this right here. When you're working around kids, you should be subjected and also forced to carry yourself in a certain manner because there's no way in hell that this can go on in the United States. Now, United States, our country has a lot of BS with it, true enough, good and bad. But one thing about it, when it comes to our kids in our schools, we would not tolerate this. We would go up there and remove Kayla Lemieux out of school ourselves and take her right down to Victoria's Secret and buy her a bra. Then you can come back because, once again, we're not trying to discriminate against nobody. But guess what, though? The school defended this ratchet behavior. This is what the school had to say. We're going to close on this note right here. And the school says this, Dear Oakville, Travaga High School families, we are aware of discussion on social media and in the media regarding Oakville, Trafalgar High School. We would like to take this opportunity to reiterate to our community that we are committed to establishing and maintaining a safe, caring, inclusive, equitable environment for all students and staff. Damn, that's a hell of a way to put it. Why not just make Kayla cover those damn nipples up? You know what I'm saying? Titties already big enough. Anyway, this is what they had to say also. And as a school within the Hall District School Board, Oakville Travaga High School recognizes the rights of students. Yeah, right. Staff, parents, guardians, and community members to equitable treatment without discrimination based upon gender identity and gender expression. Gender identity and gender expression are protected grounds under the Ontario Human Rights Code. We strive to promote a positive learning. That's what they said right there, as you all can see. So what is so positive about a teacher 
who walks around with fake breasts on, but won't even cover the breasts up. And I'm sure that Oakville Trafalgar High School has women that work in there also. So do you all allow y'all women who have them big jugs to walk around showing their nipples? That's why I want to know right there. Because if Kayla Lemieux can do it, guess what? Those other teachers can do it also. So what would happen if a woman that was born biologically a woman do that? So it's okay for a man to do that who want to be a woman? That's just all I'm trying to say right there. Because that's the problem with the world today. We try to please everybody instead of standing for what's right. So let me say this once again before I close. I don't have a problem with Kayla Lemieux being a transgender. I don't have a problem with any transgender. The point is, you're a teacher. It's not like you at home working at a strip club, even though you dress like you work at a strip club. My thing is this right here. How do you all not see something wrong with this? And why wouldn't Kayla Lemieux, a.k.a. Stephen Hanna, cover those nipples up? That's all I'm trying to say right there, because clearly that is not decent behavior around kids let's just be for real and also if my child went to that school i would pull my child out that school but parents people reasonable people that is let me know what you all think whether it's good or bad because clearly this school is dropping the ball you start trying to protect other people's rights but yet and still you're giving up your own rights in return anyway you all let me know what you think about this in the comment section if there's anything i may have missed or misinformed which is not my true intent please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed and I will see y'all soon on the next Trey King show. And guess what? I'm out.